Good evening. This is Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. The big political story today is the Supreme Court's decision to send the Ayodhya dispute for mediation, but not everyone is happy with it. Is it, however, the best way forward? And what are the political implications as this process takes place bang in the middle of the general elections with an outcome only possible towards the fag end of the polls? Well, a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court headed by the Chief Justice today referred the Ayodhya dispute to a three-member panel of mediators who have eight weeks to speak to all the stakeholders for a solution. The panel will be headed by a former Supreme Court judge, FM Ibrahim Khalifullah, spiritual guru Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and a senior advocate Sri Ram Panchu. The court has ordered that the mediation team to begin its work in exactly a week from now and said it must carry out its work confidentially without any media reporting. The in-camera sessions will be held in Faisabad, the twin town of Ayodhya. The panel has to submit a status report to the court in four weeks and it has to finish its entire task in eight weeks, which means we will be towards the end of the Lok Sabha elections. The court opted for mediation despite objections from the petitioners, including the UP government. The case was about the mind, heart and healing and not land, the court had said earlier this week. The bench said it could only decide on the property and what it was looking at was a possibility of healing relationships. Well, the choice of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar on the panel is a controversial one, given his past comments on the Ayodhya dispute. In fact, speaking to NDTV exactly a year ago, the spiritual guru had said that there would be bloodshed if the court rules against a temple. In another interview, he had said that if the Ram Mandir issue is not solved, we will have a Syria in India, saying that Muslims should give up their claim on Ayodhya as a goodwill gesture. Let's listen to what he had told NDTV last year. Suppose the court says, this is Barbary Masjid's place, it should be given away to them. You think this country will take that judgment easily, happily? It will be a bitter pill for the majority community to feel defeated after 500 years of uh, conflict, fight over that place. And already there is a Ram uh, makeshift temple is there. Is it easy to implement the Supreme Court order to give that place back to... But that's the job of the... Masjid. Okay. Will, will, it be, will it be able to do this without some bloodshed? Shifting that Ram Lala are making the majority community feel defeated. You cannot be at peace. Well, those were Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's comments and now he's one of the mediators uh, as appointed by the Supreme Court. Well, was this the best possible way forward? Joining us in the studio tonight, we have Justice B.A. Khan. Also with us uh, is uh, Ashok Thakur of the BJP, Pavan Khera of the Congress, Mr. Ovesi. Uh, will be joining us from Hyderabad shortly. Uh, and I'll take my question to you, uh, uh, Justice Khan, first. Uh, you know, just on, on the issue of what the court has done today, you know, there have been uh, attempts to mediate Ayodhya and this dispute in the past and they haven't worked. And now there is an eight week time frame that has been given to the mediators to come up with a solution. Um, is that really the best way out? Uh, Nidhi, I think this is a trial balloon. Uh, this is a good intentioned uh, step just to explore uh, maybe something comes up in eight weeks. And this has to be read with the uh, the text of the uh, the time granted for completion of documents and authentication of documents. Eight weeks time was granted. Maybe the uh, Supreme Court thought that those we eight weeks could also be utilized in this kind of an activity. <coughs> now, whether something comes out of it or does not come out of it remains to be seen. Uh, we find that there was an observation by one judge that even if there was one percent chance of success, it was worth taking. But what uh, the misgivings and the ignorance which is prevailing on the mediation part of this uh, order mm -hmm. is that media, media committee of mediations uh, headed by Justice Khalifula is not going to decide anything. Mediation, in mediation, a mediator only assists. He facilitates, he makes parties to participate and he then gives various options and brings the parties to a common ground if he can. And the ultimate outcome is this is not an adjudicative process that you impose an order. Just as Sri Sri was saying that if court passes an order then do you think it is going to be implemented or not. 
Now, those are the difficulties in the implementation of a court order is a separate matter. He was advocating in a, indirectly for an uh, agreement. So, mediation is something, it is a process which revolves to arrive at an agreement. And right. if that settlement is arrived at between the parties. That, that is the big if. <coughs> it, it, then it, it gets. In, that is the big if, sir, which is why, which is why, and we have Mr. Owesi. I, I think the first question that Mr. Owesi popped into many people's heads was well, there have been so many attempts at mediation in the past. This is a decades old dispute. Uh, it hasn't been resolved with mediation. There's a reason why it went to the Supreme Court. Uh, first, your thoughts, Mr. Owesi, on the mediation order itself. Do you think that mediation was the only way forward? Well, uh, the All India Muslim Personal Law Board uh, has released a statement on Twitter that uh, uh, they welcome the judgment, they will participate uh, in this. Uh, mediation effort and also also said that that does not mean that they are going back on the original stance. Now my ind my individual opinion is that I welcome it. But you see when I am going for mediation, one of the mediators is Mr. Ravi Shankar. Now Mr. Ravi Shankar's statements are in public domain wherein his neutrality is not questioned but he has no, he, he cannot be called a neutral mediator. He has clearly stated that if Muslims do not leave this land, India will turn into Syria. He has threatened violence. He has clearly stated this is a matter of faith for him. He has written a letter which I have tweeted just now to all those so-called uh, Muslim activists who were in touch with him. That this is, this, is a, this is a matter of faith for them. Now, you see, when I am going for mediation, I expect a person to be neutral. He should not be connected to the subject matter which he is going to mediate. He should not be close to the parties which are coming to him. That is not the case. But I am still of the opinion that, okay, let us go to the mediation because I don't want to be, be negative or pessimist over here. But fact is, Mr. Ravi Shankar is not neutral. That is the fact. Maybe he wants to get, a, he has a wishful thinking of getting a Nobel Prize or a Bharat Ratna, but he is not neutral. He has made statements. In the past, which, which are there in the public domain. But Mr. Vesi, can I ask you, and that, that is an important point you've raised, uh, but you, again I ask you about the practicality of this, you know, the, uh, the fact that uh, there is only this eight week time frame that has been given, uh, you know, and, and you know, many of the petitioners were actually opposed to this. Uh, do you, I mean, in your individual opinion, do you think that this is something that the court actually should have just stepped in and, and resolved once and for all? Uh, because if we had a solution by mediation, perhaps we would have had it by now. You know, I, I would have loved to answer this question of yours in a very truthful way. But let me be very honest with you, I am going to be very discreet and diplomatic. Because the moment I say something, you say that this man is running away from, from negotiation, this man is running away from a, a solution. Okay, so eight weeks have been given, fine. Let that eight, eight weeks be exhausted. You know, that is all I can say. Because, you know, the, the atmosphere right now is that, you know, you say something, you're damned. You don't say anything, you're damned. But, but you know, let me remind you, your colleague's interview, uh, Sunita Chaudhary's interview with Ravi Shankar, he has clearly stated what I've told you just now. I know, we just He's played it out. He's very clear on it. You know, and, 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 and last point is that I am more concerned about... I... I I am more concerned about leaks. You know, the, the so-called sources, sources would leak. And then what will happen? Despite Supreme Court saying it should be confidential. Social media is there. They will leak. You know, plane landed late for Mr. Ravi Shankar. He's coming to Faizabad. Again, it will take so many things. That is what I'm worried about. Well, I, I, I hope to God that it does stay away from the glare of the media. I think that's one of the wisest things that the court has ordered. But Ashok Thakurji of the BJP, uh, mm -hmm. you know, how, how does the BJP view this? Do you welcome this uh, uh, this order of mediation and the concerns that Mr. Ovesi has raised about Sri Sri Ravi Shankar? Uh, are they not valid concerns? I think it was a long pending demand and Supreme Court has given an order in accordance to that. And I will welcome the decision of the Supreme Court for uh, uh, this mediation. And uh, whatever uh, Ovesi Saab said, so there are 125 uh, crores people in this country and everybody has right to question. 
but i think uh, everybody should taken in the right spirit and uh, uh, supreme court may be knowing this that people will raise a question that's why they have um, constituted a three member panel because uh, nobody uh, can be said that they are uh, he is a neutral anybody can question for that that's why three people uh, panel is constituted <coughs> and i think uh, obc <coughs> saab should uh, uh, take in the right spirit and uh, supreme court has given a good chance and we should utilize it and uh, i think uh, this is a very good chance to set a social uh, example for social harmony uh, that 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 i can say okay well uh, uh, le let me take that to pavan khera of the congress interesting that the congress is actually on a panel uh, to talk about the ayodhya issue today since you all haven't been uh, actively participating but pavan does this mean when you look at the timeline of all of this that effectively the ram mandir is off the election campaign then uh, because even if at the end of 8 <coughs> weeks you do have some you know solution quote on court uh, it will be towards the end of the election anyway nidhi the electoral journey of this issue i think it was september 1990 when adwani ji took a rath yatra out and journalists <coughs> like you questioned him adwani ji ye to adalat mein hai aap kyon rath yatra nikal rahe hain adwani ji said ye aastha ka vishay hai koi adalat isme hastakshep nahi kar sakti bring us to power and we'll give you the temple come 1999 दे कम टू पावर अडवाणी जी अब क्या हुआ अरे दिस इज नॉट फुल मेजोरिटी गिव अस फुल मेजोरिटी एंड विल गिव यू द टेंपल कम 2014 282 सीट्स 5 इयर्स ओवर 2 इयर्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट ओवर नाउ मिस्टर अशोक ठाकुर सेज वी वेलकम द कोर्ट वर्डिक व्हाटएवर द कोर्ट सेज वी विल डू कांग्रेस हैज बीन कंसिस्टेंट निधि वी वेलकम एवरीथिंग एनीथिंग व्हिच द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेज वी विल वेलकम इट निर्मोही अखाड़ा निधि लेट्स नॉट फॉरगेट went to the court in 1885 rss ka janam bhi nahi hua tha main tab ki baat kar raha hu and today nirmohi akhada has questioned the choice of shri shri ravi shankar we are not questioning it we are just quoting the nirmohi akhada they have questioned the choice number 2 it is nirmohi akhada which has accused the vishwa hindu parishad of siphoning of 1400 crores collected in the name of the temple the bjp has a lot of answering to do to all those people who believed in 1990 adwani ji's comment 1999 atal ji and adwani ji's comment 2014 before the election adhyadesh le aayenge mandir wahi banayenge where is the adhyadesh where is the mandir so they have a lot of answering to do ram vilas vedanti on a sting operation nidhi clearly said the bjp is not interested in the temple they only want to win elections in the name of the temple ram ashok thakur ji aap to mujhse zyada padhe honge भगवान राम ने अपने वचन की मर्यादा रखते हुए सिंहासन ठुकरा दिया था आपने सिंहासन के लिए अपना वचन ठुकरा दिया ये आप भूलिएगा मत जनता आपको माफ नहीं करेगी well uh, 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 interesting uh, you know that that position that you're taking and and sabha just to weigh in on that do you think this dilutes the whole ram temple campaign then during the elections and what do you think of the choice of shri shri ravi shankar as a mediator uh nidhi i think uh, the situation is such that uh, you have a uh, today after the supreme court announced that it can be mediated you've had uma bharti saying only a temple can be built it's you you've held a gun uh, to the head of the muslim community this is an issue which has drained the community it the community has been held up as opposing something so that uh, a certain mobilization can take place so i in a sense i believe the court has passed on its responsibility temporarily because they obviously cannot come out with a verdict i want to see the end of this issue i think it's in the larger interest of the muslim community to see the end of this issue but there are people who talk of rule of law who think justice should be there for what was india's most spectacular public crime in broad daylight it was a criminal act that took place after which four bjp state governments were dismissed we have come a long way since there then now we have a mediation where one of the individuals has been very keen to be the person who solves this problem but the statements that he has made inspires no confidence this is the majoritarian state holding a gun to your head either way swallow the poison or shoot yourself in the head that is what is happening on ayodhya either way everybody who is in power has declared only a mandir can be built i want a mandir to be built 
but you must also uh, be seen to give some justice to others. I mean, uh, these issues are now irrelevant. We are talking about this Nidhi, as you know, when people are bashed up in Lucknow, uh, Kashmiri traders were bashed up the other day. The BJP is in power in Uttar Pradesh, they are in power in the center. There is hardly any Muslim representation left in India. Mr. Avesi is one of the few who is uh, who's an elected Muslim figure. You know, so it, it is that, swallow the poison or shoot yourself in the head. But we are the righteous people. Well, well I, I want to ask Justice B.A. Khan about that. That is, you that, know, is the, <clears throat> that is the line. The concerns that both you and mm. Mr. Oasi have flagged, uh, you know, on the choice of Mr. Ravi Shankar as a mediator. Now, Justice Khan, it, it is a curious choice. And uh, yes, Ashok Thakur is right. It's a three-member panel. And uh, in a sense, everyone has their own opinions and biases about things. But this is not, you know, just a bias or, I mean, he has very, very strong views that he has articulated. He's made it very clear on which side he stands on. And he's not the only person, you know, of a country of a billion who, who needed to be on this panel of mediators. If you had to have a panel of mediators, there were other, many other people who could have been there. What do you think of this choice, sir, very honestly? Uh, <coughs> Nidhi, normally uh, uh, a person having a stated position, uh, a person who has already declared uh, his cards on a particular issue cannot be a neutral judge or umpire or whatever the case. And his statements, one doesn't know in the background whether he was uh, wanting an agreement to take place by saying that, look here, if there is a court decree, how can it be executed? In other words, did it mean that there has to be an agreement only? Whether that agreement would shift a temple here or a mosque, there is a different matter altogether. So in what context he was saying that, one doesn't know. Third thing which I want to point out is that he is not the judge. He has not to decide anything. He is a facilitator for an agreement between the parties. Maybe the Supreme Court considered his past record of making efforts for a resolution. And maybe that he has contacts in all quarters of the other side. And maybe that he may have some negotiating skills or his good intentions, which may bring about the other party to some common ground, one doesn't know. But his being there is not going to vitiate the decision. I'm sure a five-member bench, uh, five member bench of the Supreme Court must have considered all this. They know this is an elementary that a biased person can't be a judge. Well, I, I'll take that to Mr. Oweisi. Mr. Oweisi, Justice B.A. Khan there saying, uh, while he clearly believes that Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has a, ha, is not neutral in this, he's a facilitator, not a judge, and that the court would have taken into account, you know, his, his contacts uh, with various stakeholders uh, and, and particularly one side uh, in, in deciding to choose him. What do you think? Well, uh, 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 see, see, the problem is, now, let me be a devil's advocate. I'm always a devil's advocate. Why not an, a, a, another bearded, bearded man over there from Muslim community? Why not? I mean, are you, are you saying that he is there because he can convince the Sangh Parivar? No, the question, I know that this is not an arbitration, wherein in every, any judgment is passed by the arbitration, it will be implemented. It's a mediation, I know. But why, I mean, is this, this country does not have neutral uh, mediators? Why do you want to pick only you know we, 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 uh, this person who, whose, whose track record is known to everyone, who's threatening violence? You know you do, you don't accept my viewpoint. This is not a, a title suit. This is a this is a religious issue. I mean why why? I so this create, I mean does this creates confidence in me or, or or creates more misconfidence or creates suspicions? Good. Let, let, let them go on for eight weeks. Uh, and and, and we will we'll come to know. You know, the issue is that I have grave doubts about the neutrality of this mediator. That is the fact of the matter, and no one can run away from it. And that is why I have, that is that is why I have raised my my concerns over it. Well, I, I want to take that to Mr. Ashok Thakur uh, of the BJP. Could I again. add, uh, one All right, See, Justice This Khan, is yeah. a court-directed mediation. And it is the prerogative of the court to select a person. There may be one million people 
out of those 1 billion people, they have selected according to their judgment, five judges, constitution bench of the court, one person, for good or bad, for whatever his connections, for whatever his negotiating skill or whatever. And in any case, what I am saying is that Mr. Ovesi's objection will may, may sustain uh, broadly, but it is not going to affect any way. What is he going to? He is he is assisting there. He is not delivering any judgment. He is not uh, constructing okay, any okay. temple or giving. But I want to ask Ashok out. Thakurji of the BJP that when Uma Bharti says that nothing but a Ram temple can be built, if that is the BJP's position, then what are we mediating? What what are these talks going to be about? Let me see. We must uh, understand the sentiments of the Uma Bharti. If you will go to the history. Hindus have set a lot of examples of social harmony in this country and they given shelter to all the religions including 73 firkas of Muslim in this country and they, um, uh, they were given protection here to uh, uh, flow. I think now this is the time that Muslim uh, community should come forward and the what way… What does that mean? Nee, nee, see, the way we respect Makkah, Medina and uh, Vatican City. They should also think that Ayodhya is as important <laughs> for <on>. us. <laughs> that's why, that's why they should come forward and they should uh, 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 help in uh, uh, constructing temple. I think this will uh, give a uh, good uh, uh, example of social harmony. And we, we expect this but from… But Ashok ji, the point is that when a, a, a senior leader like Uma Bharti says before a mediation process even starts that only a Ram tem temple can be built, nothing but a Ram temple can be built, then I mean what is the point of you know all sides going there and just stating their positions and what where is the scope for mediation? Isn't this doomed to fail? See, they, this is a decision of Supreme Court. They considered all the factors. The Justice Khan now just explained this. And I think Supreme Court has done a very, very good job and they given a chance. I think this is a chance to all the uh, uh, parties to come together and set an social example of social harmony. But, you, but I'm saying and that they the BJP position is already clear they, before the mediation. They must see that the, uh, so Ram is an, as important for Hindus as Muhammad for Muslims and uh, Isa for uh, 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 Christians. Pavan, Pavan, you want to come in there? Let's start with the acquisition you know, of. Uh, I, can I say one thing to sure, the gentleman? Okay, yeah. Can I just say one thing? I mean, I didn't. Uh, there, is, there is this gentleman must be educated about the religions of the book. Jo ahle kitab, and there is Hinduism is different. And this is not an attack on you, sir. This is just very elementary knowledge about different religious systems. Anyway, please proceed, huh? Sorry, Pavan, Pavan, I, Pavan, I respect your knowledge, and I, I think you are. You uh, got very good knowledge about religions, but whatever I have said, this is an history, and the whole world knows this. That how we given a protection to the communities came from um, uh, abroad, and they were given protection here. That's why they are uh, uh, surviving. Come on, come on. Tell Mr. me, Thakur. people are not able to survive in Syria, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq. They are I fighting mean, with each other. I think Nidhi. we have to stop. Not in India. We, we, no, no, no. Sorry. Nidhi. We have to stop, you know, making Muslims in, of, in, of India feel that they need to be grateful to be part of this country. I mean, let's let, let's stop with that kind of rhetoric. Pavan. Nidhi, it is exactly that social fabric which we are trying to preserve, which we are trying to rescue from Mr. Ashok Thakur's government and his party. Now, I ask you, Ashok Thakurji, there were some people who voted for Narendra Damodar Das Modi thinking that he is a Hindu Riday Samrat. Haven't you failed them? Of course, some of others voted for him because they thought he was a Vikas Purush. You failed them. The acquisition of the land took place under Narsimha Rao. You opposed the acquisition then. Now you talk, started talking about acquisition ordinance. Then you realized that no, the country cannot be run without rule of law. That's what we've been trying to tell you for the last 70 years, that this country can only be run and should only be run by rule of law, constitution, full stop. Nothing beyond that. Now you will talk about the power of the people, then you will make the people of the people. Now you will talk about the people of the people, then you will make the people of the people. Please clear your stand today. Why did you promise a temple and not deliver? You, uh, you owe this answer to those who voted for you in the name of the temple. We Why promised the temple and we are committed for that. And we will construct the temple. And we will make such a temple that you will eat. You will eat 1400 crores. You will make such a temple that you will eat. 
निर्मोही अखाड़ा को तो जवाब दे नहीं पाएंगे निर्मोही अखाड़ा को जवाब दे नहीं पाएंगे कि चौदह सौ करोड़ कैसे खा लिया आपने मंदिर के नाम पे लूटा निर्मोही अखाड़ा बोल रहा है उसको जवाब दीजिए आप सो द कांग्रेस हैज मेड द राम मंदिर एन इश्यू इन इन द रिवर्स ऑर्डर नो नो इट्स इट्स द इश्यू निधि इज ऑफ ब्रोकन प्रोमिस द इश्यू इज ऑफ हुड विंकिंग एवरीबडी वेदर इट्स इन द नेम ऑफ जॉब्स वेदर इट्स इन द नेम ऑफ टेम्पल वेदर इट्स इन द नेम ऑफ थ्री यू नेम इट they'll always be hoodwinking they'll always Wait. hide behind some because Ashanti, and then sabha my, i come word. back to my point because yeah. the idea is to just polarize get votes come to power and then forget about all these issues sabha. keep them on a slow burner so that's the politics which which no. we need so to explore so then sabha are we actually going to see the absence of ram mandir from this campaign or do you think it's going to creep back in at some point once we're done with national security in pakistan you are asking from me no, sabha, sabha. uh i think uh, ram, ram mandir was beca- had become an embarrassment uh, politically it was becoming dull even the rss and the vhp pulled back because the government could not deliver they recognized that right now they will appear that something can happen it will appear this is a way i believe i don't want to cast aspersion anything i think this is a way to keep the issue when you have somebody like shri shri being a mediator this is a way to create the illusion that something can happen even on the ram temple something can happen of course the court has said so but and the bjp is not saying so but look at the <clears throat> look at the chorus coming out from the bjp i have actually had to sit here and digest this gentleman in your panel suggesting that me asaduddin oaisi you make a point justice khan don't give personal comment are somehow need to be grateful for people mm-hmm. like him your all point that are welcome isn't sheer illiteracy you know and you are you are a, you are a formation are which never took part in the independence struggle sir which you never so don't tell us about aapne uh, participate kiya tha so you don't have aapne participate kiya tha swagat mein that you are anyway, aapne participate kiya tha all right well aap aap aapke vaicharik gurgon ne to nahi kiya tha ye to sabit ho chuka hai father ne kiya tha tab to aap angrezon ke talwe chaat rahe the wo to sab sabit ho chuka hai to congress chaat rahe the chodiye congress chaat rahe the angrezon ko chhod de subhash chandra bose ne hota to azad hi hota bharat aapne pakistan agar subhash chandra bose bude ho na de mahasabha desh azad nahi hota tha muslim league ne milkar pakistan ka prastav kiya tha aap logon ne was desh ko hamesha i have to leave it there and i am going to have to say goodbye and cut this off this is This has degenerated into something completely different. It's only the beginning of the election campaign. The dates aren't even out yet. See you next week.